The Life of the Prophet Isa, Jesus, Peace Be Upon Him Part 2 On another occasion, Isa alayhi salam was once passing by a graveyard when he noticed a woman crying over a grave. He asked her who had been buried there. The woman stated it was her daughter and swore she would not leave her because of her love for her. In her grief, she wished to die with her daughter or her daughter be brought back to life. Isa alayhi salam proposed to her that if he brought her back to life again, would the woman then believe in his message? The woman agreed and Isa alayhi salam proceeded to command three times that the dead girl rise from her grave. The girl then was brought out of her grave. Isa alayhi salam questioned why it had taken so long for the girl to rise from her grave. She said that once she heard the first calling, Allah recreated her physical form. At his second command, an angel appeared over her head. Finally, her soul returned to her. As her soul returned to her body, the girl's hair turned to white from the horror that it might be the judgment day. The girl was appalled at the idea of experiencing the agony of death again and asked Isa alayhi salam to return her to her grave. At this point, the mother is silent and astonished at what she saw. Isa alayhi salam made do it to Allah to return the girl to her grave and to ease her plight. His prayer was granted. Bani Israel was still unconvinced of Isa alayhi salam and his message. They asked him what food sustained them and what they had stored in their houses. He responded correctly and yet they still did not believe. Isa alayhi salam informed them that he was sent to confirm the Torah and to make permissible what was previously forbidden. They continued to bring him the sick, blind, and infirmed, those that are paralyzed or with terminal illnesses. With Allah's permission, he was able to cure them all. During his lifetime, Isa alayhi salam was a humble servant to the word of Allah. He slept without a covering and wall. When he was reminded of the afterlife, he would scream and weep like a child. Before he began to preach the word of Allah, he was a handsome, young man. After spreading the message of Allah, he was often yellow from hunger with dry lips from thirst. He continued preaching of the oneness of Allah and of the Injil. The Prophet said the books were all revealed in Ramadan. The pages of Musa was revealed on the first day of Ramadan. The Torah on the sixth, Injil on the ninth, Zabur on the 18 inches and the Quran on the 27 inches day of Ramadan. Isa's followers were from the poor and weak of the Bani Israel. He delivered numerous messages, one of which was the coming of a later messenger by the name of Ahmad. Isa preached to his people that a messenger would follow him whose name was Ahmad. And, mention, when Jesus, the son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, Indeed I am the messenger of Allah to you confirming what came before me of the Torah and bringing good tidings of a messenger to come after me. Whose name is Ahmad? Another name of Prophet Muhammad, but when he came to them with clear evidences, they said, This is obvious magic, i.e., fraud or deception. Surat 61-6 Even with all miracles Isa alayhi salam was given by Allah, Bani Israel continued to disbelieve and stated that it was just black magic. He traveled to al Nasirah in Palestine which was for him like Taif was for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa salam. However, in reality al Nasirah turned out to be like Medina was for the Prophet. He, too, called on the people for their support for a victory much like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa salam did in Taif. Isa alayhi salam gained a firm amount of following in al Nasirah, unlike the reaction of the people of Taif for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa salam. The disciples answered to his call by confirming they were Allah's helpers. That is why Christians are called al Nazara in Arabic. This is due to Siddha of two reasons. The first is because they are attributed to the town of al Nasirah, which is where the great majority of his followers were from, that town. This is the opinion of most scholars. The other reason is when Jesus gave the speech in the town of al Nasirah, he asked the people, Man Ansari illa Allah, who are my helpers to, the work of, Allah? The disciples answered his call to give him victory and help. They proclaimed their belief and affirmed they were Muslims. But when Jesus felt, persistence in, disbelief from them, he said, Who are my supporters for, the cause of, Allah? The disciples said, We are supporters for Allah. We have believed in Allah and testify that we are Muslims, submitting to him. Al Quran 352. Others, however, disbelieved and were arrogant of the message. O you who have believed, be supporters of Allah, as when Jesus, the son of Mary, said to the disciples, Who are my supporters for Allah? The disciples said, We are supporters of Allah. And a faction of the children of Israel believed and a faction disbelieved. So he supported those who believed against their enemy, and they became dominant. Al Quran 61 14. The Hu'o'yun were true worshippers, like the Muhajirin and Ansar, who gave commitment to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There were twelve disciples, and among the disciples were those that insisted on proof and were not willing to follow blindly. They presented Isa alayhi salam with challenges and demanded that he ask Allah for a feast from heaven as a miracle. Isa alayhi salam replied that they should fear Allah if they were believers because should such a miracle be granted, and they still do not believe, dim would befall them. They insisted on the firmness of their belief, but wanted this miracle only to further strengthen it. Isa alayhi salam then invoked Allah for food to be sent to them and to those that followed until the day of judgment. And remember, when the disciples said, O Jesus, son of Mary, can your Lord i.e., will Allah consent to? His ability is undoubted, sent down to us a table, spread with food, from the heaven? Jesus, said, Fear Allah, if you should be believers. Al-Quran 5-112 
They said, We wish to eat from it and let our hearts be reassured and know that you have been truthful to us and be among its witnesses. al Quran 5-113 Said Jesus, the Son of Mary, O Allah, our Lord, send down to us a table, spread with food, from the heaven to be for us a festival for the first of us and the last of us and a sign from you. And provide for us, and you are the best of providers. al Quran 5-114 Allah said, Indeed, I will send it down to you. But whoever disbelieves afterwards from among you, then indeed will I punish him with a punishment by which I have not punished anyone among the world's mankind and jinn. al Quran 5-115 Allah granted this miracle and on their table was meat, olives, seafood, fruit, and bread. Then angels, in the form of humans, brought the food down for them. The disciples were afraid to eat from it. Isa alayhi salam brought the poor and needy to the table, and so the disciples began to eat as well. Some began to steal of Allah's blessings and so he transformed them into apes and swine. The only restrictions Isa alayhi salam placed were that one should not deceive in their consumption, steal, or hoard the food. As they ate, the food continued to increase in quantity. However, it is disputed by some, if the feast actually came down, but most narrations confirm its authenticity. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated the two that will receive the most severe punishment, they will be the people of Fawn and Umayyidah. Those that disbelieved in the feast and the other miracles of Isa alayhi salam. Those that held knowledge and rank wanted to kill the weak, worshippers, and believers in Isa alayhi salam. The oppressed wanted to raise arms, but Isa alayhi salam appeased them by saying that he had come with miracles and proof from Allah. He advised them that if one was slapped on the left cheek, then to offer the offender the right as well. He assured them that Allah is the granter of victory. After going to al Nasira, Isa's followers grew in numbers. The Jews went to the Romans and all the local kings that had taken over Palestine. They instigated fear and hatred for Isa alayhi salam, claiming that if he was not killed, he would take over their kingdoms. The king of Egypt called on the king of Beit al maqdis and asked how long they planned to leave Isa alayhi salam. He cited imminent danger for them, since Isa alayhi salam called for piety, sincerity, and the resistance of temptations. They feared he would destroy their world as it was, so they decided to crucify him. Allah had revealed this outcome to Isa alayhi salam through angel Jibril. This story of how Isa found out about the plan to kill him was narrated by Ibn Abbas, that can be found in Ibn Kathir and Hakim. It should be noted that when one hears a story narrated by a Sahaba, it is one of two things. It is either Morkuf or Marfu. Morkuf means that the companion narrated something from himself. When a Sahaba narrates something the Rasul Salahu alayhi wa salam said, then it is called Marfu. However, when it is Morkuf, we sometimes take that saying as if the Prophet Salahu alayhi wa salam said it himself. In matters where there is no difference in opinion or quizzes, for example, fi, the unseen, faith, and it is something only Allah and his messenger know, then take it as if the Rasul said it. Even if a companion has narrated it. There is no way that Ibn Abbas could have made this story up, he must have heard it from the Rasul at one time. He was told that a conspiracy calling for Isa's death was in the works. He entered upon his disciples after having bathed and revealed Jibril's news. Isa alayhi salam asked his disciples who would sacrifice, and have their features altered to look like Isa alayhi salam. They would then take his place and be crucified. This person was promised a place in heaven with Isa alayhi salam. An adolescent volunteered by saying he would willingly take his place. Isa alayhi salam told him to sit and dismiss his zeal. He posed the question to the group, and again the boy was the only one to offer to sacrifice himself. Yet again, Isa alayhi salam disregarded him. Isa alayhi salam asked a third time, and the same boy spoke up. This time Prophet Isa alayhi salam wiped his head and gave him words of inspiration, as well as made dua for him. He cautioned the youth that Romans and Jews would enter and find him with Isa's physical features. He further continued to explain that he would be taken and killed. Throughout, they would not see Isa alayhi salam, since he would have ascended to the heavens. It is said in another narration that a man by the name of Yehuda al Iskayuti, a disciple, was the one who deceived Isa alayhi salam and told the Romans and Jews where Isa was. Then in retaliation, Allah made him look like Isa and therefore, it was him who was crucified. This narration is weak and the one previously mentioned is the stronger one. The Jews and Romans discovered where Isa alayhi salam and his followers were. According to a weak narration, they found where Isa alayhi salam was, through one of the disciples who was tortured and admitted, under pressure, where Isa alayhi salam had been hiding. The Romans and Jews entered upon the young boy, thinking he was Isa alayhi salam, and began to torture him. The boy, who was made to look like Isa alayhi salam, was taken and on his head they placed a crown of thorns. They nailed his feet and hands to a cross and he was crucified. And they're saying, Indeed, we have. And, for.
and, for, their saying, Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But, another, was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him, for certain. Another meaning is and they did not kill him, being certain, of his identity, i.e., they killed another assuming it was Jesus, upon whom be peace. Al-Quran 4-157. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it, and those who differ therein are full of doubts. The reason for this was due to the number of disciples there were. It is known that Isa had twelve disciples, which makes thirteen including him. After crucifying who they thought to be Isa, there should have been twelve people. When the disciples were counted, only eleven were present. As Muslims, we believe that Isa had ascended and the thirteen inches was crucified. This is why there was a discrepancy and they, Jews and Romans, were full of doubts. They have no, certain, knowledge, they follow nothing but conjecture. For surely, they killed him not, Isa, son of Maryam. The Jews not only bragged about killing a human being, but a messenger, a messenger from among you Lulaz, and the best of messengers. And they, i.e., the disbelievers, planned, plotted to kill Isa, but Allah planned. And Allah is the best of planners. Al Quran 354. After Isa's mother heard the news of the crucifixion, she was in a state of shock. She cried hysterically until she met a man who she knew to be Angel Jibril. He assured her that they did not kill her son, but someone who was made to look like him. She insisted that he had been crucified, but Angel Jibril revealed that Isa alayhi salam had ascended to the heavens. A core belief of Islam is Isa's ascension to heaven and that he is living and will return. The details of his ascension and his existence in the heavens are not known, as Allah knows best. Prior to his ascension, he had been in a state of sleep for three days. Allah said, Mention, when Allah said, O oh Jesus, indeed I will take you and raise you to myself and purify, i.e. Free, you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you, in submission to Allah alone, superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then to me is your return, and I will judge between you concerning that in which you used to differ. Al-Quran 355. The term wafat that is used means sleep or death. Allah says, in these verses, however, to be asleep is implied. The Prophet said that sleep is akin to death. Sleep is like hash or death, just as the Prophet taught us to say after awaking, Alhamdulillah alathi ayonabad o matna, praise be to Allah, the one that gave us life after our death. The term wafat here, according to Ibn Abbas, signifies that Allah cast sleep upon him, possibly for three days. He will speak to the people in the cradle and in maturity and will be of the righteous. Al-Quran 346. Another term used is kalin, meaning the height of youth. One attains maturity between the ages of 35 to 45. This period is called kalin. When Isa escalated to the heavens, he was 33 years old and will return as the same age. The miracle lies in his return to earth to complete his mission. After Isa's ascension, the disciples began to spread the message and continued to follow a righteous path. They were abused, oppressed, and tortured by the Jews of their time. So much so, that none remained alive. People dispersed in all directions. Some claimed that Isa alayhi salam was God. Others claimed he was the son of God. Yet, others said that he is one of three parts, the Trinity. Confusion continued until the arrival of the promised messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He came to confirm the word of Allah and to clarify the position of Isa alayhi salam. They have certainly disbelieved who say that Allah is Christ, the son of Mary. Say, then who could prevent Allah at all if he had intended to destroy Christ, the son of Mary, or his mother or everyone on the earth? And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and whatever is between them. He creates what he wills, and Allah is over all things competent. Al-Quran 5.17 they have certainly disbelieved who say, Say, then who could prevent Allah at all if he had intended to destroy? Al-Quran 517. They have certainly disbelieved who say, Allah is the Messiah, the son of Mary while the Messiah has said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Indeed. He who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden him paradise, and his refuge is the fire. And there are not for the wrongdoers any helpers. Al-Quran 572. They have certainly disbelieved who say, Allah is the third of three i.e., one part of three, referring to the Christian concept of Trinity, and there is no God except one God. And if they do not desist from what they are saying, they will surely inflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. Al-Quran 5, 73. O people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion such as attributing divine qualities to certain creations of Allah or revering them excessively, or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah and his word which he directed to Mary and a soul, created at a command, from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. And do not say, three, desist, it is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God. Exalted is he above having a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs. Al-Quran 4-171 
The Jews say, Ezra is the son of Allah, and the Christians say, the Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouths. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieved before, them. May Allah destroy them, how are they deluded? Al-Quran 9.30The return of Isa alayhi salam is a well-anticipated event for Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Many years after Isa's ascension, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam met him during Isra and al muraj where he saw him walking around the Kaaba in the second heaven. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also described him in another hadith, narrated by Abu Dawood, so that one would be able to recognize him upon his return. He had a fair complexion with a ruddiness to his skin. His complexion was pure and radiant, as if glowing with beads of water. Isa alayhi salam was neither tall nor short. His hair was described as neither curly nor straight, with a soft texture. It was long and reached halfway down his back, glistening as if it were wet or oiled. His physical frame was well built with broad chest and shoulders. Though he was full-figured, he was neither fat nor thin. Since his escalation to the heavens, it was apparent that it was not an actual death just the end of his existence on earth for a given time. Therefore, he must return again once more to complete his mission and die. His return will discredit the claims the Jews and Christians made regarding his crucifixion. The world will be shown that the mission of Therefore, he must return again once more to complete his mission and die. His return will discredit the claims the Jews and Christians made regarding his crucifixion. The world will be shown that the mission of Isa alayhi salam was Islamic since he will rule with the Sherry legislation upon his return. Isa's return is an actual sign of the advent of the Judgment Day. He will return in the east near Damascus. He will come down near a white minaret with each hand on a wing of an angel. His head will be bowed down to Allah and from it will fall beads of sweat, dripping as though they were pearls or diamonds. He will descend upon Palestine heading for Beit al-Maqdis during the time of Igama for the prayer of Fajr or ASR. The Imam will have immediately recognized his presence and will ask him to lead the prayer. Isa alayhi salam will decline stating that the Iqama was for the Muslims, and they are to lead one another. This implies that he has not returned with a new message, but rather as a follower of the message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa since all prophets came with the message of Islam. After the prayer, Isa alayhi salam orders the door of Beit al-Maqdis be opened and that is when they see Dajjal with 70,000 Jewish soldiers. Dajjal will melt as salt dissolves in water, at the sight of Isa, his fear of Isa alayhi salam will be so great. This will be Isa's first task to eliminate the Dajjal, who will attempt to run, but Isa alayhi salam along with the help of the Muslims will strike him down at Bab al -Ladur. He will end the evil reign of the Dajjal. Another important task Isa alayhi salam will carry out upon his arrival will be to break the cross. This action will illustrate the incorrect belief that it has come to signify. He will then continue to slaughter all the pigs of the world. Since it was revealed in the Bible to abstain from eating pork. However, since this revelation was tampered with, people continued in their consumption of this unclean animal. This action will illustrate the incorrect detailed belief of the Christians after their temper. Lastly, we will also call people to Tawhid, or the oneness of Allah. It is described in one hadith that Isa alayhi salam will live on earth for 40 years, while another states he will live for seven. This has been a cause of confusion, though the matter is relatively simple, meaning that his life on earth will total 40 years, his ascension at the age of 33 plus the seven upon his return. He will die at the age of 40 and the Muslims will perform Janazah prayer upon him, and according to scholars he will be buried in Medina next to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. During the seven years, Islamic rule will have been established as the supreme religion. Peace and tranquility will have been spread on the earth and Iman, faith will have been instilled in the hearts of mankind. Allah reveals to Isa alayhi salam during this time that there are people called Gog and Magog will attack mankind. At that point in time, they established their dominance on earth and will then wish to reign what is in the skies. As they spread their rule, they will eat all crops and drink an equivalent of an ocean. They destroy pillage and ravage all that comes in their path. Ita said that as the first of them pass by a body of water, the last of them will say there once was water here. Their mischief and oppression was limitless and Allah ordered Isa alayhi salam and his followers to seek refuge in the mountain of Alta. There they plead with Allah and made dua for him to destroy them. There they plead with Allah and made dua for him to destroy them. The oppressor is always destroyed by the most innocuous means to illustrate the insignificance of their existence. Therefore Allah brought about their destruction through worms in their neck which killed each one. After Gog and Magog are killed, Isa alayhi salam and his followers leave Alta and find the earth full of their rotten corpses. Their smell and the froth that will come from their mouths will be so potent that it will corrupt the world and make it unlivable. Again Isa alayhi salam and his believers will make dua to Allah to remove their bodies. Allah will answer their prayers and will send birds with long necks like those of a camel to do away with their bodies. The stench of the bodies will still be prevalent so Allah will send wind and rain which will leave the earth clean and pure. Allah then will order the earth to bring forth its blessings and all evil will be eliminated and the inhabitants of the earth will reside in peace. There will be so much peace and blessing on the earth, so much so that even humans will be able to cohabit with animals without fear of harm. A lion and camel eat together, 
cow and a tiger, sheep and a wolf will graze with each other in harmony. A wolf will be the servant of a sheep. A young boy will pass by a lion unharmed, like a young girl will pass by a snake. There will be peace and prosperity throughout the universe without oppression, because of the Baraka that Isa will be given. As he said Allah made me a blessing wherever I am. There will be so much Baraka, blessing, in food, that it is described in a hadith that a pomegranate will feed a large group of people. They will be able to use its skin as atent, implying its abundance. Allah will place his blessings in wealth and food. For example, a cow will feed a large population, a calf will be enough for a town, a lamb will suffice for a tribe. Hadith can be found in Muslim. Finally, Isa alayhi salam will perform Hajj, travel to Medina, and will pass away there. The Muslims pray upon him, and he will be buried next to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and Abu Bakr. Soon after all the good people of the earth will die by a breeze, leaving only the evil ones behind who will hear the final trumpet. The evil will reach a point where there will be open lewdness and rampant transgression. This will indicate the end of time and the beginning of the judgment. The final days will be trying times for all. The return of Isa alayhi salam will be a blessing for the righteous and an eradication of all evil and wrongdoers. Allah's supreme plan for mankind and his messengers, Isa, role on earth will be fulfilled. The story of Isa alayhi salam is one that brings hope and comfort for believers during the most dire times. In the history of the world, all things will perish before the day of judgment and all things destined will have been accomplished. So the role of Isa alayhi salam is one of the most critical ones in Allah's plan. May he strengthen the hearts of the believers and have mercy on them during those desperate times. May he hold our hearts steadfast to the religion of truth and not allow them to digress, stray, from it. He alone we ask, he alone we seek for our strength, and he alone we ask to accept our doings. Allah Hama Amin. Allah does not charge a soul except, with that within, its capacity. It will have, the consequence of, what, good, it has gained, and it will bear, the consequence of, what, evil, it has earned. Our Lord, do not impose blame upon us if we have forgotten or erred. Our Lord, and lay not upon us a burden like that which you laid upon those before us. Our Lord, and burden us not with that which we have no ability to bear. And pardon us, and forgive us, and have mercy upon us. You are our protector, so give us victory over the disbelieving people. Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, concludes this surah by directing his servants how to supplicate him. Just as he taught them in Surah Al-Fatiha how to praise him and ask for guidance. Surah Al-Baqarah, colon 286.